The watch we're gonna talk about today is dumb, but it's also kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, guys. Jeez. Jokes aside, let's talk about another watch that proves why H. Moser is the people's champ when it comes to orological trollery. It is 4.20 p.m. <laughs> I don't smoke, guys. I don't smoke. I don't. And if you guys do, you're stupid and lame. Pfft. Be above the influence, jeez. With everyone talking about crypto, NFTs, the blockchain, South Korea lifting the ban on adult sex dolls, it's clear the future is now. Now, almost literally on the cutting edge, in 2022, Bulgari with their razor thin Octofinissimo Ultra Thin, I think they called it, thinnest watch in the world, it had a QR code imprinted on one of the watch's components and it, I thought it was kind of dumb, right? It, it all amounted to what is essentially an advertisement for the watch. Never to be outdone, however, H. Moser wanted to do something similar, but instead of putting a QR code on the watch, they wanted to make a watch out of a QR code, essentially. Like, that's, that's kind of the only way I can describe this. 40 millimeters wide, 11.3 millimeters thick, pretty much everything from the top down has been 3D printed, and literally, the watch is a QR code. Now you flip that thing over and you can see the HMC200 in-house automatic movement, 72 hour power reserve, and uh, let's see, 21,600 VPH sweep. Now, what's interesting is that if you were to shell out the $30,000 for this watch, you probably don't give a f about anything I just mentioned. Because again, this watch is essentially just a troll piece. Now the QR code in this case takes you to an authentication page for the watch, and I think it also says something about H. Moser uh, and the development of the watch. <sighs> Here's the thing, this is still kind of a missed opportunity. So at the beginning of the episode when I said this watch is dumb, but it's also cool, I think it's funny uh, that H. Moser's like, oh, we're like in the tech space, like people are being techie now, we'll show you techie. We're literally gonna make a watch out of a QR code and it's gonna be freaking weird. You gotta respect that commitment. Now, still, if you're gonna be spending a ton of money on these watches, I'd rather spend a ton on a unique QR code that goes to wherever I want it to go. I don't need the QR code to then like essentially just be an advertisement for the watch that I've already spent money on. It's just not as interesting in my opinion, but maybe I'm missing the point. All right, and, and I'm totally okay accept, accepting that, whatever. So there's not really a ton to talk about when it comes to this watch. This is just another example of why H. Moser is hilarious in my opinion and why uh, their, <laughs> their sheer commitment to the gag is... Uh, yeah, it's just impressive, and, and I, I respect them. So, what do, you, what, what do you think, guys? Leave, leave me a comment. Do you want this new tech space to leech its way into orology, or do you want them separated? And do you see what H. Moser's doing here, or do you think it's just dumb? Leave me that comment, I wanna hear from you. And guys, it's the new year, so uh, why don't you check out this episode when it comes to watch trends that should be left in the past. Uh, Gato clip it, kind of simple. Hodinky. And speaking of f***ing Hodinky, how about those articles where they want to talk about how giving someone your watch temporarily, having them wear your watch, is the same as having someone f*** your significant other? Weird. There you have it. I will catch you on the next one. Alright guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time talent. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.